guys, uh, good morning. Uh, this is Veni. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is day two in Lisbon. It's quarter past eight in the morning. Saturday, the 19th of March. So I'm gonna do exploration of the city center today, this morning. So stay tuned. Back on the main square of Rossio. And then I'm gonna start my morning walk from here and turn it right to the castle. All the buildings around this square, they used to be destroyed from the Great Earthquake in 1755. Back to one of the main squares, the Plagato Comercio. But now during the daylight, it is probably the biggest square in Lisbon. Getting up to the top of the hill to visit the Pedro to Castello, which is one of the good viewpoints but also historic sites. Coming in the morning, I will recommend it. Wow! Hi, Lisbon, good morning, pleasure meeting you. The view is stunning. Definitely, definitely come up here. Like, you can only do one thing, just get here. Oh, that's a perfect spot for lunch. Look at that stunning view. Ah. Whoa, huh. that was not great. Now I'm going to visit the castle. Castle walls, that's the whole point to see the view. Very nice spot. Walking around the castle, still inside the castle and the gardens. Right, well, this is one of the main cathedrals of Lisbon. Very, very busy. Like a cotton garden or something equivalent. It's definitely a market square. Very busy. So, this is what they call it the thief's market. So it's not really thieves, but that's what they call it. It's not like the countries they sell the products. Sorry, it took me like probably 45 minutes to find my way up here. 
because it's like a, a maze of streets underneath to find your way out. But definitely worth it. I left the, the East Lisbon, I'm walking along the, the seafront, along the river, uh, so this is river Tai, Tai, so I'm gonna go over down the bridge, it should take me like an hour walking, it's really nice, down to my shorts, it's very very warm but I really love it. People are very chill, some bathing. I mean, it is 20 degrees after all. Right, so I'm getting closer to the bridge, which will be halfway through the walk to where I want to be, and I'm gonna have a break there. There's a lot of restaurants and cafeterias under the bridge, it's a really nice spot here. And it's lunchtime now, so it's very busy. This resembles uh, the form of a ship and it's a monument that has been erected for this guy there. So, Belem is a defensive tower uh, and it's a dual architectural style for Lisbon and for Portugal. Um, I'm just gonna try and visit it. Right, let's go and visit the tower. Let me get closer actually. So that's the monastery of Geronimo. Uh, which is from the 16th century. And I need to make a decision I'm gonna go inside and find more, or I'm just gonna walk around. So I think I'm gonna get the drum back to central Lisbon. I think it's four o'clock now. I'm back in um, central Lisbon now. So I'm gonna spend uh, three more hours one, and then I'm gonna probably go back to so around seven, seven thirty. It's like a food market. Chiado and Pedro 
país, país do alto. the Luis de uh, Placa Luis de Camoes. It's a very popular rendezvous point for people from Lisbon. It's getting dark now, it's 20 to 7. I think probably another half an hour then I'll go grocery shopping and go to the hotel. So I've been walking all day. Probably 25 kilometers. 